So everything is finished. I hope everything is okay at last. We shouldn't make Meltem have to come here again. She's really yearning to go. Good morning. Good morning. What's up? Is there a problem? No. It's just normal maintenance. What about the transportation for that guy, Salim? The loading was done as scheduled. They set off last night. You mean Burkhan sacrificed his day off for this transport? That's right. I thought you knew about it. I don't know. Mr. Munir called me, and I had to arrange everything to go the night before. In order to do it faster, I called Birkin. I didn't say anything, but yeah, I knew it. I talked to Munir afterwards. Ah, oh, so then there's no problem. You take it easy. Thanks. Oh, uh... By the way, I thank you for sending the flowers, Munir told me. Uh, which flowers? I hope you didn't pay for them. I don't understand. What flowers? The flowers you bought in my name, Yassar. And you really messed them up good. It's all good. They should feel me breathing down their necks. Good for Mr. Munir. Did you take them to their home? No, not there. To the restaurant. But I didn't take them. The florist delivered them. The restaurant? That's right. Where is the restaurant? Is it close to their home? You didn't know it. You only learned now. I know that their house is in Goksu. So the restaurant is closed. I don't know. Captain Yassar, don't you worry. I won't tell Munir that you told me. Look, Mustafa. We're all on the same side. Why are you so nervous? You do what they tell you. I know that, but what if Mr. Munir finds out? He won't know, and I won't tell him. And you don't tell. Where is this restaurant? You can tell me now. In Gaksu? <laughs> Around there. Finally, it all came out. She finally told me how stupid I am. Finally. Rami. She told me everything today. I always knew she didn't really love me. I told her so many times. I said not to do it again. Why did she talk to him again? She doesn't care about me. I heard her talking. She was telling him on the phone. So what about Marat? Do you think she'll steal him? No, no. I called them and I warned them. I told them not to let him go anywhere, that I will go and pick him up. Karim, can you get him now? He should be with us, just in case. Of course I will. No, no, that won't work. He won't come. It's his friend's birthday today. Then I'll go after. I'll, I'll pick him up later. I won't give her my son. She probably didn't go anywhere. She'll walk around, and she'll come back when she's calm. I kicked her out, Sister Maryam. I did it. It's done. Mukadis is not coming back again. We should tell this to Mr. Kadir. We'll tell him. She can do whatever she likes. I don't care. I didn't mean that. They invited us to give our testimonies, Rami, Mukadiz, and me. Mr. Kadir called me before Rami got here, and I was talking to him. He said next week we have to go to Izmir. The three of us. But she wasn't willing to be a witness before. Now she won't want to come. But I couldn't bear it, Fatima Gul. I was so sad. If you had heard what she said... It's okay, Rami. I didn't mean you. She'll come if she wants. Well, we can wait till that day, because only Allah knows what will happen. But I threw the phone in the river. We cannot call her. She'll call us. At least to ask about Murad. From now on, I won't ask any favors. Listen, honey. Don't say anything for now, but she has been summoned. She has to come in anyway. But we have to let her know she needs to go. I'll go and get Murad, okay? I have done it. We're in a terrible situation again because of me. That is not true. You'll give your testimony and Mary M will give hers. We don't need her testimony anyway. Do you know anyone named Alsair Ovechik? No, I don't. Karim, have you ever heard of that woman's name before? Is she someone with the Yalsarans? Well, let me think. Alsair Ovechik? I don't know her. I, I, why do you ask? The Osirans gave her name as their witness. I thought she must be from Eldir. 
Is she someone from the farmhouse? I don't know a woman by that name. I don't know the name. I don't. She must be someone around them, but who? Who could she be? What will she make up at the trial? Mommy! <laughs> yes, it's me. Wait, wait, calm down, calm down, Mom. Take a breath. Are you well? <laughs> Did you get the money? Uh, fine, fine, yeah. Yes. So, did you get the money? Uh, yes, okay. I hope it's helpful. I'll send you more as long as I can. No. It's still really cold here now. Mm-hmm. Germany's cold. Mm-hmm. So then, buy some coal with that cash, Mom. Did you tell my father about it then, or...? No, 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 don't tell him. Uh, uh-huh. And don't tell him I called, he'll get angry. Okay. No, he's okay. He's working now. Mm. Yeah, we're always busy. You take care of yourself, okay? Look, if you need any medicine or anything... Mm. Will you please call me? Me too, mommy. Don't you cry. Uh-huh. I'm sending a kiss. Give my thanks to Aunt Pamuk. I miss both of you. Allah save you. Okay, mommy. Okay, me too. Okay. Me too. Me too. I am coming. We need to hurry, you know that. All right, I'm coming. Hello. How are you? The whole family come for a visit or what? Not quite. I am divorcing Salim. I came to give all my shares back. Really? Are you surprised? I'm making it known how I feel about this. You told me there's no difference between us. Well, here's the difference. I won't be a toy in their hands now. <laughs> <laughs> 